What's up guys, it's Mercules here, and this is going to be commentary number 19. Uh, by the way you guys, sorry if I sound a little bit more nasally than I normally do. I know I always sound nasally, but um, I just had to put some like spray stuff in my nose. Um, what actually is happening is I broke my nose when I was like 13 playing football. Uh, me and my friends were just thrown around and a kid tipped a ball and it bounced straight into my face and like cracked the cartilage at the end of my nose. So if you guys ever actually saw me close up, you notice my nose is tilted to the right down at the bottom. Which sucks because I already have a giant Jewish nose and now it's a giant crooked Jewish nose. But regardless of that fact, I actually have to have surgery on my nose later this uh, summer because I haven't been able to breathe out of my nose since I was like 13 years old when I broke it. Um, I have what's called a deviated septum, which pretty much means means the uh, excuse me, the canals in my nose that air travels through, um, like they're messed up. One of them is pretty much like closed off on one side. So they've been giving me some spray that they think might like open up uh, my airways and my nose and help me to breathe better. I mean, it's working a little bit, but it's gonna end up to where if I don't want to have to put nasal spray in every single day for the rest of my life, which I don't want to do, uh, I'm gonna have to get surgery on my nose. So um, enough about that, I just wanted to talk a little bit today about um, how my day went, just because I had quite an interesting day. Uh, I wanted to get this commentary out yesterday, and I definitely wish that I had gotten the commentary out yesterday, uh, because you wouldn't hear me rambling as much as you're going to hear me today, because I did not have a great day today. First off, I worked a five-hour shift as a lifeguard, and I don't know if any of you have ever been a lifeguard or if any of you know what it's like to be a lifeguard, but it is very, very boring the vast majority of the time. And today, nothing happened, which I'm thankful for. I would obviously prefer that nothing happened. I prefer it be boring, but that doesn't stop it from being a, you know, terribly long five hours that I was working. Sometimes I work 10-hour shifts. Thankfully, I only had to work a five-hour shift today. But a kid called me at the end of my five-hour shift and wanted to know if I wanted to work his shift tomorrow, which was the five hours before my five-hour shift that I have tomorrow. So I would have ended up working a 10-hour shift tomorrow. And I was like, uh, no, I don't really want to work that. And then instead of just telling him that I didn't want to work it, because he was giving me like a sob story about how his family was coming into town and he wanted to hang out with them, I was just like, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning. I can't work it. I know, I lied to him, I felt terrible, it was not a good thing for me to do, but karma came back and bit me in the ass. I actually rear-ended someone on my way home from work, and now, I wasn't going very fast, it was not like a major accident, but I drive a Nissan Pathfinder, which is like a small to mid-sized SUV, and the kid I rear-ended was driving like a tiny little Honda Civic, and I got hardly any damage at all on my car, like a crack in the bumper, something very minor you probably wouldn't even notice, and I destroyed his back bumper. Like, absolutely obliterated the thing. So, that really sucks. Karma definitely uh, got the better of me uh, in this occasion. And I'm expecting to hear from the insurance company sometime soon, which is unfortunate. I'm sure I'm going to lose, you know, quite a decent amount of money having to pay for that to be fixed, which really, really sucks. So, that is my horrible day. That's what happened to me. I hope you all had a better day than I did. But, it's all good because I'm doing a Halo commentary and that makes me feel better. Um... What I want to talk about, I actually have a lot of things I want to talk about in this commentary. Hopefully I get through them all. First thing I want to talk about is a new idea I have for my channel, which is a Halo Help Me series. And in this, it wouldn't take the place of my commentaries. It would kind of be an added supplement where I would do like a commentary and then a Halo Help Me later. But what I want to do is a lot of people have been asking me how I do the things that I do. Like, how do I get perfections? How do I get so many kills in a... Um, in an objective game type like how do I do this stuff well I have decided that I'm going to try this at least once y'all can all as always sound off of the comments about whether or not you think it's a good idea but I'm definitely going to do this once with the next gameplay that I have it's a big team slayer game on hemorrhage where I pick up the sniper rifle I get one be the bullet and two sharpshooters and I pretty much go 35 and 3 mostly just with the sniper rifle. I think I go like 17 of 22 headshots with the sniper rifle, like something pretty good. Um, it is me pretty much playing a support role the entire game, like sitting at the back of my base. I don't think I go past the midway point of the map like the entire game, but I just figured that I would post that game up and I would do like a semi commentary, like semi breakdown of my gameplay on it and hopefully I can help y'all to be a little bit better better Halo players if you see what I do in games maybe you can try to mix that into your own matchmaking play and maybe it'll help you be a better person you know the the questions I ask myself when I'm playing like a lot of it's luck, like what type of people you're playing uh, where they're gonna spawn stuff like that but you know 
maybe I can help you out with the routes you take around the map for different objective games, uh, the positions you try to hold down when you're playing Slayer, stuff like that. I don't know. I'm thinking about doing that. I guess I'll call it the Halo Help Me series. And, um, you know, like I said, sound off down in the comments about what you think I should do with that. But I am going to do one of those. That will be my next video, like long video that I post. So I uh, definitely look forward to that. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is the sub for sub program. And if y'all watched my last uh, commentary, you know exactly what that is. But I wanted to go over it again for anyone who's, you know, just turning in, or just tuning in, sorry, or anyone who didn't really fully uh, understand it last time. And what it is, is pretty much if you're already subscribed to me, or if you subscribe to me, and you are a producer of Halo content, of StarCraft content, of Call of Duty content, I don't know anyone who subscribes to me who is, or really any good like content that you put out on YouTube, as long as you're a regular subscriber and like you post videos a lot and um, they're you know pretty quality videos. Shoot me a message, I'll check out your channel, and if I like it, I will subscribe back to you. This is not a sub for sub thing where anyone who sends me a message just automatically gets subscribed to you just because you subscribe to me. Like I'm not doing that. And if you're subscribing to me just so I subscribe back to you, you're subscribing to me for the wrong reasons. Like I don't want you subscribing to me just so I can have more subscribers. I don't care about that. Like I want you subscribing to me if you like my content and you're going to be an active, you know, member who's going to comment on my videos and provoke discussion and stuff like that. I mean, even if you don't agree with what I'm saying and you're commenting on my videos, that still, you know, that still instigates conversation between the different people who either agree with you or don't agree with you. Um, it's pretty much that. So, like I said, if you're subscribed to me and you're an active YouTube, you know, producer, you put stuff up, go ahead and shoot me a message and I'll check out your channel. And if you have less subscribers than me, then hopefully I'll be able to bring some more subscribers to you. And if you have more subscribers than me, why not do it anyways? Because... You know, maybe I'll bring some people who haven't seen your channel before, who somehow found me without finding you. Um, I've actually already subscribed to a lot of people who I think are really good content producers. Some of them have more subscribers than me, like Supor, for instance. Really great channel. Does commentaries, does everything. Great guy. He has, you know, more subscribers than me, but he subscribed to me and he sent me a message. And, you know, maybe through my comments on his videos, some people who didn't know about him will see him. Um, some people that had less subscribers than me that I'm trying to help out right now. Stonage Ponage, Chubby or Snail, Nick is Awesome, Believe the Hype, I'm Not a Random, I'm Fear. Uh, those are just the people I remember off the top of my head. I'm sorry if I've subscribed to you and I didn't call your name out. I mean, I'm just going through this list real fast. But those are all people that um, post YouTube or post Halo stuff a lot to YouTube. And they don't have that many subscribers, but that's because it's hard to get known on YouTube. I mean, the way I got known on YouTube is a pretty, you know, disrespectful way. I feel like a lot of people gave me hate for it, but it did get me known, or more known than I ever was before. And that's, I pretty much spammed other people's videos. And I didn't really like doing it, but I really was just looking for feedback on my videos. And I guess it happened to work out well. I mean, I feel like a lot of my original subscribers found me that way. So, I mean, this is just another way I'm trying to help the Halo community grow. I've already been capturing clips for people. And like I said, I'll capture your gameplays, you know, for a price because it does take so long to render on my computer. But this is just another way I'm trying to help grow the Halo community on YouTube because really it's not as big as it could be or as it should be. And I'd like to do something to change that. And if you guys want to take this idea, I know Chubby or Snail has already uh, taken this idea and started implementing it on his own channel. By all means, go ahead. Do the same thing on your channel. If you see people that you like and they've subscribed to you, sub back to them, like their videos. Every like gets more exposure to all these videos. So... That's just something I want to say. Again, don't subscribe to me if you just want to sub for sub. If you're not going to watch my videos, and I'm not going to watch your videos. Because I don't care. I know some people have like 5,000 subscribers just because they sub for sub. And they don't post anything. Those people are just in it for the money. Don't send me a message if you're just in this for the views or the subs or the money. Super and I talked about this a little while ago. Do it. Su sub to me and send me a message if you love what you're doing and you really enjoy it. The money will come if you do the right things and you do what you love to do. Don't do it just for the money. The money would be like a bonus for already like Halo is my hobby. If I ever started making money doing this, it would be like getting paid to do my hobby, which I love to do anyways. But I don't care. I couldn't care less if I ever actually make any money doing this. I'm doing this because I enjoy doing it. So like I said, if you're in it for the money, if you're in it for sub for sub, if you're in it for views, something like that, don't even send me a message. Don't try to do that. Um, sorry if that sounded a little wrong. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is my backup channel, again, where I capture your clips and I post them to. If you guys haven't subscribed to that, um, go ahead and do that. 
even if you don't want me to capture your clips, just because you might actually see some pretty good clips on there. A lot of the people whose clips I capture are pretty skilled players. And you know, I do capture anyone's clips, so not all the clips are great. But a lot of them are a pretty high caliber. It's not, you know, single Halo clips where he has the highest standards and he takes only the best clips. But one of the things about that backup channel what I'm trying to get it to be is like a video library. Like any clip can just go on there and anyone who wants can just, you know, browse that channel and just look at all the clips and maybe be entertained by some. It's pretty much just like a library of Halo Reach clips is what I hope it uh, turns out to be. I already have like 50 clips or so on there. So, you know, even if you haven't checked it out before um, and you just, you know, might be curious about it or maybe you do want your clips captured or something like that. Um, go ahead and check it out. You know, you might find a new player that's uh, pretty good that you didn't know about before. On there. You never know. So that's the end of this commentary, guys. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you later.